is going to be my first Halloween video this year. Yes. So for today's video, I thought I would start out with something super simple. I wanted to kickstart my Halloween videos with something easy, even though I normally do like more simple costumes when it gets closer to Halloween. But anyways, I wanted to do this one first. This is perfect for those of you guys that like to dress up for Halloween, but don't really want to spend the money to get a costume. You still want to be like creative, not just like basic Halloween costumes. This is a little bit more fun. You can make it a group costume, you can make it a family costume, you can do it by yourself. It really doesn't matter. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching, but stay tuned because I have a ton of Halloween videos planned. Group costumes, couple costumes, more individual costumes, scary costumes. I'm so excited. So be sure to subscribe for all that fun, and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys how to get the leopard makeup, which is a lot easier than you probably think. So starting out, you're just going to have your face makeup on, and we're going to move right into the lids. So I'm just taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is just a white cream eyeshadow, and I'm placing that on my lids and blending it out with my finger. This is just going to make your eyeshadow stand out a lot stronger, which is what you want for this look. So for the eyeshadow, I'm just using a bronzy, coppery color, and I'm placing this all over my lids, extending it into my crease, making sure it's blended really nicely. And then I'm also going to bring that on my lower lash line. For the eyeliner, you're going to want to do, of course, a cat eye eyeliner. Um, so I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner pen, but you can also use gel eyeliner. You just want to make sure that you extend it all the way into the inner corner of your eyes because not only are we going to do the cat eye eyeliner, but we're going to bring it inwards and extend, extend it down like you see here. This is just going to give you more of a cat-like appearance and uh, it's just going to make you stand out more. Quick tip, use a pencil eyeliner for this inner corner part. It just gives you a lot more control than a liquid eyeliner does. So then I curled my lashes and applied some false lashes and then now I'm placing a caramel colored eyeshadow on the places where I'm going to do the leopard print. So on my neck, on the top of my forehead, and then I'm just taking this really handy tool that I got from Maybelline and it's just this kind of shimmery bronze color and I'm basically placing spots or circles just around where I want the print to go. Um, and you're basically going to repeat this until it's all finished. And then I'm also taking a sparkly gold color which is just a little bit lighter and I'm making slightly smaller dots um, in between all those larger dots that I did. Now that I have a bunch of bronze and gold dots all over my face to make it look more like leopard print I'm just taking my eyeliner pen and I'm basically just outlining those circles. As you can see I'm not doing all outlined completely I'm doing some half circles. This is really what's gonna make it look like leopard print and as you can see I'm not being perfect with this at all. The key is that they're their print isn't perfect, so the spots don't have to be either. So you can really be kind of messy with this, and once you outline it in black, it's really gonna make the leopard print stand out. For the nose, I'm drawing somewhat of a heart shape on my nose, not too intense, just slightly curved at the top there, and then I'm extending the lines upwards and then blending it out with my fingers to give it more of a natural effect because leopards seem to have this type of nose or this like shadow right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw in the bottom half and connect it to my lip and then fill it in slightly, not all the way. I'm filling it in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in black. It just makes my life a little bit easier. And then I'm also going ahead and filling in my top lip. Then for the nose, I'm going to fill it in with some bronzy gold eyeshadow and I'm going to blend it in with my finger to give it kind of a gradient effect. This just gives it more dimension. And then for my bottom lip, I'm just going to outline the outsides and blend it in with my finger to give it this kind of rusty pink color. And after that, the makeup is complete. Super easy, right? So for the hair, I decided to slick it back just because when I think of leopards, I just think of super sleek. So I combed my hair into a low pony and secured it, and then I added some ears, which I got from Target. For the rest of the costume, I just wore all black, so this part makes it super easy for you just to dig in your own closet and have a super easy last minute costume. Next up, I'm going to show you guys how to get this super easy lion look that I think is probably my favorite. So starting out, I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm placing that all over my lids again and blending it out with my finger. But then instead of putting a shadow over it, I'm just going to take a matte brown color and place that into my crease. Lions always have this super highlighted lid and then a more defined crease, so this is really what's going to help you get that look. Then, for eyeliner, since it's a cat, like the leopard, you're pretty much going to do the same thing. So wing it out and then extend it on the inside. This is really what's going to help you give that cat-like appearance in your eyes, so I think it's super important. Then with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, I'm basically going to highlight around that inner corner 
part. I just think this gives a very similar look to a lion's highlighted points to their face, if that makes sense. I'm just going off of kind of cartoons, <laughs> if that makes sense for makeup. I hope it does. Anyways, mascara, false lashes. Of course, I applied that. And then for the face, I'm placing this kind of rusty reddish brown color on where I would normally contour and then blending it out with a beauty blender sponge. Between this on my face and my hair, it's really gonna help you get that appearance of like a huge mane. For the nose, lions have more of a prominent heart-shaped nose, so I'm basically recreating that with some black eyeliner on the tip of my nose, and then I'm going to extend that down into a slight curve, and then of course connect it to my top lip. To fill in the nose, I'm using a reddish pink color, and I'm basically placing that in the center and then blending it in with the black to give it kind of a gradient, more realistic look. And then for the whiskers, I'm just taking an eyeliner and I'm basically just doing little circles, little dots, all over um, the top of my lip. And then I'm going to take the sponge part of that eyeliner and I'm basically just going to smudge it outwards, making it kind of look more realistic like whiskers. And then lastly, for the lips, you're just going to fill them both in completely with black eyeliner or a black lipstick. And after that, you are done with the makeup. Now, moving on to the hair. This part is the easiest and most fun. You basically just get to mess up your hair, girl. Tease it, backcomb it, hairspray it like crazy. You just want to make this crazy, wild, fierce lion mane. After that, throw on some lion ears if you have them and wear anything tan and you have a super easy lion costume. And last but not least, the zebra look, which I think turned out super awesome. So you're going to start out with, of course, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and you're basically going to trace out wherever you want your zebra print. I decided to go for a mask type of look, but I think what would look really cool is like a half face or like a diagonal split face. Um, but basically, all you're going to do is just fill in in white wherever you want your zebra print to be. Also, if you didn't notice, at this point, I do have my eye makeup done, so keep that in mind. And then, after you get your print lined out, I'm basically just going to take my finger and smooth out the edges to give kind of a gradient look so it doesn't look like such a harsh line, and it'll just end up making the zebra print look cooler. So now I'm just taking a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in black, and I'm filling in my eyebrows. And then this is where the fun part slash kind of challenging part comes in. I'm just taking a brush and some gel eyeliner, but liquid eyeliner will work too. And I'm basically just creating a zebra print. Now how I did this is I basically ju just looked at a zebra and their print, and I tried to recreate the lines. Um, I realized like right now I kind of look like the girl from Black Swan. Um, the bun is not helping me. <laughs> but anyways, it ends up looking super cool. You just got to keep making lines. It's kind of a trial and error thing. Um, but my tip for you is to make the lines thicker in the center and then they kind of go out at a point. That's kind of how I notice zebra stripes are. Um, so it's basically kind of catering to your face. However you end up creating it will end up looking cool. So I just did that all over my face. And as you can see, I also extended that down onto my neck as well. For my lips, I just filled them in with black, so black lipstick would work. If you want a more exact zebra look, make a huge oval around your nose and mouth and you'll get a super intense zebra look. After that, the makeup is done, so now moving on to the hair. You're basically going to put in three ponytails in the center of your head going down. Then with a teasing brush, you're just going to backcomb your hair a little bit and rat it and kind of smush it up into a little big bun on the top of your head and pin it with bobby pins. This is where you're going to create this kind of mohawk looking horse mane, which I think ends up looking awesome. So I'm basically just taking pins, ratting, and just kind of connecting the hair, as you can see here, um, and pinning it together to make sure there's no spaces. And I'm doing that until all of the hair is pinned up, and then you have this really cool faux hawk looking horse mane that I think looks so awesome. And then I'm just going to add some zebra ears from Target, and the look is done. For clothing, all you have to do is wear a black and white printed top. I also think zebra leggings would look super cool for this costume. But that is it for my video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye!